nation whose young people have done great things. And we remember their sacrifices and remember the sacrifices of those who currently serve in dangerous places, even those who are left in Afghanistan and those who serve in the, in the Air Force and the Royal Canadian Navy. Well, I was just recently in Esquimalt, uh, HMCS Vancouver, uh, left in July for the Gulf and will be gone for a very long time. Not only a sacrifice for those aboard, but for the families left behind. I'd like to do a short reading and then a short message followed by a prayer as we gather here to remember those who sacrificed for us. A reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. Canadians have long remembered their fallen by building monuments such as the cenotaph that we're planning to build here. If we go about this country, you can read the inscriptions on a number of, of the cenotaphs or visit a legion and see the names that are inscribed there or in many churches. Names of people who gave their lives for our nation. Stories of courage and of valor as we travel about from city to city, from town to town in our great nation. And we come to pay homage to them who died to preserve our freedom. Today is our opportunity to remember. We remember the images of ships tossed in the air by explosions or tossed about by the violence of the sea. We remember men following beside their friends as they fought against the enemy. Remember telegrams coming to the doors of neighbors, husbands, never to return, sons and daughters whom were loved and lost, even to this day. We remember with pain, but we remember so that their sacrifices will never be taken lightly nor forgotten. We gather here not just to remember with our minds and to honor them with the time that we spend here, but we are best to remember them by the lives that we live and the values that we hold and the things that we do with our lives, in our homes, in our families, and in our work. Remember the sacrifice of those who gave their lives by living out the values and the freedoms that they gave so much for us to have. It's not just remembering with our heads, but it's how we live our lives. Because the battle is always being fought, our freedom is not something to be taken for granted. Well, wars are fought for many reasons. The key reason is ideologies or ways of being and of living. What is it to be a human being? Who am I? And the answer that we give in this country is that every single human being, male or female, has infinite worth and dignity and has a, a right and a, to live their lives in freedom and to own things and to have a family and not to be controlled by some dictate of other people, free to make our choices. So let us pray as we come here.